ain't gonna never give up. I mean, I know I got my 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 habits and this and that, but it, I, that's why I'm going to go for what I'm. Yeah. For. And do you have any kids? No. And I was gonna say that I didn't think you did, but I just wanted to ask just in case. But that's what I was gonna say. You doing good so far. It seemed like you did learn from one of your mom's lessons, whether we wanted to or not. You was like, look, I know I don't want to put my kids in a position where they have to go through what I'm going through. And I know that might sound crazy to hear now, but when you're a little older, you'll realize that that's one of the best things you can do is get yourself together before you bring life into the world. It's okay to focus on you because you deserve it just as much as you would try to give it to anybody else. You see what I'm saying? So focus on you. Don't let none of these boys do none of that, girl. Just I need somebody to meet me. Where I need somebody to, the, the, the put their trust in me. Because if I'm telling you that I want to go to college and I want to be this and that, and I done already done graduated, I got these so many certificates. All I want is somebody to just get my help me with my birth certificate, go take me to the place that I need to go get to go get my birth certificate and my social security so I can get my ID. And now I work as many jobs as I, I can want to work. It's not the drugs. I got a question for you. How old you were when somebody introduced you to drugs? Sixteen. And it was. And I was dating older people because I I always like to learn from older people. So it was a it was a man or a woman? It was a man. So an older man got you addicted to drugs. Yeah. That's wild. Now how, how did that come about? It's just I was living. I never really got to go. I really like you know my mama was always scared for me to go out the door because. I was very curious and I was very like I always like to go out and like roam. I like environment. I like it's nature. Scary. Yeah. Yeah. I like the I like animals. <laughs> Every time I go out the door I come back home with a new dog, a stray <laughs> dog. Yeah. You got the, the doggy distribution system. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what did he get you um hooked on if y'all want me to ask It was it was at first I was smoking Molly. Now, first I was smoking weed. I started smoking weed at 12. And... <laughs> How you got the weed at 12? It, it's a long story. It's a long story. Why would I say 12? Because this girl is cooler. Well, but, it's 12. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so he got you hooked on the Molly situation. And then what did it end up being? Um, he wasn't the one who got me on the Molly. It was somebody else that I was doing with before that. But when I met him, I was working at KFC in Pizza Hut. And I, he, he was hustling, you know, but he was low key smoking and he was like, try this, you know, curiosity. Made the cat try it. I ain't gonna say kill the cat because right. the cat survived. So, right. Um, but, and that from, from there on, like, I was on and off. I really wasn't like constantly smoking it. Like, I could stop. It's easy to stop it. Like, I, was, I wasn't doing it when I came back down here. When I left, when I was up there, where I was at, I wasn't smoking it. I stopped smoking it because everything about it got me aggravated. Got me messed up. Like, got me like, frustrated. What you mean about that? What do Molly feel like when you're smoking? Molly? No, nah, Molly just made me. The horny? Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, what you mean everything about it was getting you at Like, everything. everything about the crack was getting me Oh, girl, you didn't say nothing about the crack? Yeah, I ain't. I ain't oh, wanna, so you wanna, went from Molly. I get yeah. it. So, you went from Molly to that, and that kind of made yeah. you be like, so, mm -hmm. did it you? Got, it got, it was like, irritating. Just everything about it was like, consistent. So, you got introduced to crack at, after you started smoking weed, you were smoking weed first? I was smoking weed first, and then I met, I was, you know, living a little fast. And you met this guy? And I met, I, yeah, I, I used to go to the bars and, and all of that. Just living life so fast at a young age. But, no. I'm saying, so, so I just, so we want to know how most, introduced. yeah, most, most women that the we meet. I was introduced at 16. Okay. When I used to sell drugs and work. Got you. Yeah. So you basically linked with the nigga. The nigga put you on the hustling too, but y'all having a good life. I was hustling before I met this nigga. Damn. I'm, I'm saying, when did you have time like, to that's live why these he, lives? That's why he. That's why he wanted. That's why he. We got along because I was hustling with before before I met him, and he, you know, he he was a leeching ass nigga. What? But you know, 
Because yeah. just using me. Because I used to yeah. steal my mama's credit card and, and take a... I only, yeah. did it, I only did it one time. Yeah. Where, where did you have time to live all these lives? <laughs> Are you only 21. I grew up fast. Mm. So, once you... um. Did you ever kick the crack or is it Molly now? Like, what did it end up being? It's, um, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I be Low chilling, key, yeah. She you know. Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> so you be minding your business. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I, I be trying to. Yeah. I, I, I don't be bothering nobody. Yeah. I, I, I got a serious nobody. question. Yes. When you met this guy and he introduced Craig, did, you didn't have no idea what it what it would do, or you were just naive, or I didn't I didn't like really care for it at first. I just knew it just brought a lot of money, and I needed that money to do stuff like get stuff that I needed, like because I I was always told no a lot, but you know, my bad. So what was your first thought of actually trying it? Because you go from selling it to trying it, and at one point when you were selling it. You weren't doing it. Yeah, um, he, cause he, cause one day I seen him smoking. I caught him smoking and he was like, come here, <laughs> try it. So, you know, my slow behind, my crazy behind just decided to hit it. And, you know, it just made me feel good. It's not like, oh yeah, I get up and I start doing crazy shit. Right. It's like, you know, I, I just be chilling, I just thinking. Like it just had me like in my own world, like, and yeah. and I can like progress. I'm not saying that using it as an escape though, but I'm just saying it just it's it's a different effect for everybody. Yeah. Like with me, if I smoke, I'm I just sit there and I just think about my next step, about yeah. my next move, like. So question. Not not about how I'm gonna get in the next hit, just. Right. <laughs> you know. Have you ever had an apartment? Have you had anywhere a place to stay that you paid for yourself? Um, no, I was staying uh, as a peace offering. They had I was staying in like a little that I got invited into, but I was cleaning up and I was fixing on stuff. Um, and I got rid of the maggot infestation. As soon as I got rid of the maggot infestation, they kicked me out. Good question, Neil. Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Like, do you ever want to get clean and actually do anything else? Of course. What do you want to be doing? Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? What would you like to be doing? I want to be a lawyer. Ooh. What kind of law you want to practice? Like, who you um, I wanted to do, like, um, companies. Like, for companies who sue and who, who sues the people who, who make, who does lawsuits. Mm -hmm. And, um, they, they, um, think. I, I, I forgot the word. Oh, patronize. Mm -hmm. Like, excuse me. Like when um when they have to um when they going through like the suit process mm -hmm. of suing the companies, then they need they need a um advisor uh, advisor right. like to help them orderly go through the process of, right. of suing the people. Okay. You testify and all that crazy yeah, stuff. Sure. Not crazy stuff, but you, know. you would make a great lawyer too. If I'm not mistaken, in California, all you have to do is pass the bar to become a lawyer, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken. And that means you can really just study for it at the house. Mm -hmm. And then when you feel like you're smart enough to pass it, you know, go through it. I might be mistaken. Well, you're 21 now. Knowing everything that you know now about life on the streets, life, you know, in the real world. Mm -hmm. If you can go back to 18-year-old Leah, what would you tell her? You might have to go back to 15-year-old Leah. <laughs> I would I would not change anything because guess what I learned from my mistakes and I learned from the ways that I am. And that's what makes me the person that I am today. Even better, happier, and trying to be an even better woman than I am now. Mm -hmm. You got a great personality. Thank you. You yeah. do. And it's some great ass hair. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. You. I ain't gonna lie. You what do you do for like out. money out here? For you money, food, um, shelter? I ain't gonna say big. <laughs> I be mean. Oh my god. What you mean? <laughs> I don't be mean. I don't rob people or nothing like that. I, um, I just I use, know, I just use my personality. 
shit, I don't be trying, excuse my profanity, but I don't be trying to do stuff. Like, I, that shit, that don't be tiring. That don't, like, when you done live, when you, when you done did that, but, but listen, if I have to, just to come up for a little bit, I'm to my real money. I'm not talking about, like, no chump change. I'm talking about, What's but chump I don't want somebody to be, I, I'm going to, I don't want somebody that's going to meet me halfway. Like, What's chump change to you? That's going to really care about me and try and help me get my stuff right, because, Right. Is it hard out here for you? Of course. What's some of the things you I mean, deal with out here? Some of the struggles you deal with these on the daily basis? These people. These people. But guess what? That's just people. That's just that's the whole outcome of being a being or a person. It's, it's going to be different attitudes, different mindsets, different mind frames. You can't force nobody to do nothing. A listen to take heed into nothing. So guess what? Whatever it is that you that that like me, whatever it is that I decide to that'll help me motivate me to do the right thing. I I keep that in mind and I keep working on that. Like I don't let nothing stop me, and I won't stop by the grace right. of God. Even if even if if even if Dylan's in the middle line. What's one of the first things you think you need to do to get your life together? One of the first things you had to make a decision today. What be one of the job. first things? I mean, it stops smoking. That smoking it ain't nothing but do like. But I'm just saying. I'm just. I, I'm I mean, like, let's keep I'm it real. Now we're gonna. All that, if you, if but, you say um, you want to change your life today, I want to change. What would be the first thing you would need to do to put yourself in the right to get a position? job? To get a job. I need to get my ID and stuff. Other than that, I'll be good. All right. You got any advice for any other any other other young girl that may be? Um. Listen. All I can say is, no matter what, keep trying. And whatever it is that y'all put y'all minds doing, you can do it. You don't have to make up. You don't have to wear makeup. You don't have to make yourself or wear little clothes to make yourself feel like uh, uh, you look better or whatever. Just be you. That's all I can say is because I done been in, in, in I done been young in situations where I I done live fast. Hi. I done live fast and grew up fast. I'm sorry, y'all can't hang out right here. Okay, yeah, no All problem. Right. Yeah. I'm yeah. just trying to tell us how to. Okay. Real, you know, people out but just keep y'all head up. And, you know, if y'all need somebody to talk to, it's good to go talk to people sometimes. Even though y'all, even if y'all feel like they don't care, even if y'all feel like nobody cares about y'all, sometimes you got to talk to God. Because he, he'll be there. Right. That's it. All right.